right. Back to DNA. The double helix. Our DNA has about 25,000 genes. What do genes code for? All our physical attributes, such as whether we can roll our tongue or not. Mm. And things like eye color. I've got brown eyes because I inherited brown eye genes. And so, um, let's think about it a second though. What is a gene? A gene is a bunch of letters, is it not? DNA letters, how many? Four? At the golf course, isn't that right? Isn't a gene a bunch of A's, T's, G's, and C's? Yes, it is. You say, well, what does a bunch of A's, T's, G's, and C's have to do with tongue rolling? Well, that's far from fully understood. But the first step is well understood, and that's the one we're studying in this unit, and that's what a gene directly codes for, and that is this. A gene directly codes for a protein. And a, a protein, wait a minute, what's a protein got to do with tongue rolling or blue eyes or brown eyes or something? Well, that's far from fully understood, but proteins are the big shot molecules in the cell. I mean, they're the workers on the cell's assembly lines, and uh, they control this and control that, and, and some proteins control other proteins and how they operate, they regulate. Uh, and so somehow the production of a protein leads to another step, which leads to another step, 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 which eventually results in something like tongue rolling or blue eyes or something. Well, uh, as I said, that's far from fully understood, but the first step is well understood, and uh, that is how a uh, set of four letters can somehow, in some combination, code for a particular protein. And the good thing is we are experts on protein, are we not? Yes, we are. And uh, we're also going to learn about something called a mutation, uh, which affects those letters, which affects the protein, which affects can affect some physical attribute, uh, can result in something called a genetic disease. We'll see how that works. All right, that's the intro. What's the point? The point is each gene directly codes for a protein and the process by which that takes place is called protein synthesis, the subject of this module. All right, that's it.